everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're joining me for the first time i am fumidela they also call me the full package fashion teacher because i always give nothing but full package always so i'm really excited today because today today is my birthday i'm so 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 excited i'm really excited to be alive today a couple of weeks back i had an accident and i'm just grateful to god almighty that i'm not in the mortuary i'm in the grave god has been faithful to me honestly it has been God all the way. So if you're going to gift me anything today, the only gift I want from you is to help this channel go. Watch my videos from beginning to the end. I also have a tutorial on this one I'm putting on. Go ahead and watch it. I'm going to link it up there. So please, let's help this channel go. Let's get to 5K. We can get to 5K this week, please. That's the only gift you can give to me so let's get to the main deal of today so i saw this uh vicky james dress online and i really love how the corset was styled i think it was a jumpsuit and you know the corset was styled on it i really love it and i was like okay i can show my youtube family this one so if you are a beginner i i enjoy you to go and watch my basic bodies video before you proceed with this particular tutorial because it's mainly for advanced students all right you might be finding some difficulty to you know move on, move on with the video when you don't understand the basic body so i'm going to link up the basic bodies up there for you to go and watch okay once you're done watching that you understand the concept of drafting this corset so it's more like a victorian corset or you know a different shape this time around so and uh, if you have been watching any of my videos on corset before this one is different so you have to watch from beginning to the end so without wasting any of our time let's get started i'm going to be dealing with the back okay i'm going to be dealing with the back just to make it easy because the back pattern is the easiest on this pattern the front is quite uh i won't say complicated but it's not as easy at the back all right so first thing first you need to get the length of your corset and then we are going to create our back opening for the closure okay to start drafting our pattern um i have traced out the bodies block the basic bodies and i traced it out without the waist that if you watched my video on basic bodies you will understand how it is being drafted uh with some excesses for contouring so those that value i added for contouring i did not uh, outline them how but they are included meaning that the waist the underbust of this pattern right now is still with excesses okay and i've written down the measurements okay the measurement the bust measurement here is 40 the waist is 32 the waist is meant to be 32 and then the ep is 44 the length of our corset is 24 which is stopping here okay so this is the corset length so um let's check what we have on the pattern because we have here 10 and here should be 11 because of the one inch excess normally add to the bust you understand from the basic for this block okay and uh, the waist here i have 9.5 uh, and uh, i have 10.5 here so you can see that it has excesses so we have 9.5 to 10.5 that will give us 20 okay so that means there is currently four inches excess on this pattern there's currently four inches excess on this pattern so uh i'm reducing it to 32 so from 40 to 32 that means we are taking eight inches off okay this person's actual measurement is not 40 have that in mind we are only taking two inches off of this person's waist measurement if you want you can reduce the, your own waist as much as three inches four inches off depending on how comfortable you want to be but as for me i like to be comfortable so i always reduce my waist by two inches okay you can do three inches you can do four inches you can even do six inches if you are comfortable but my basic body is always drafted with excess on the pattern so i can use it for the contouring all right so let's get to it it's not as easy at the back all right so first step first you need to get the length of your corset and then we are going to create our back opening for the closure uh, so i take 1.5 from here then from the length i take one inch then i connect them together so that's the opening for the back closure all right that's that so we are now going to divide this space into three because we want to have three panels there so this is eight and quarter if you divide eight and quarter 
into three, we should be having uh, some, something around that two, three over eight or so. Let's check. Okay, so we actually have two, two three quarter. Okay, two three quarter, two three quarter, two three quarter. Okay, then I'm going to just draw the line all the way up and down like this. All right. Then I'm going to I'm going to be reducing the waist here from here to here because this is the part of the measurement it's just an opening for snatching so i'm going to be reducing it to eight inches okay so what we have here is 9.5 so we have 1.5 inches excess i'll divide the 1.5 between both of them so that will give me 0 0.75 on both sides and 0 0.75 on both sides on 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 each of this right 0 0.75 on each of them So that's it. So what I'm just going to do is this my under boss line that I have drawn right from the front. I'm just going to draw it out with a broken line like this. Then whatever value I have on the waist, I take it straight up like this. I take it straight up. Okay. Then I connect it here like this. So, I do not need this. Okay, then I'm going to shape this side. I can take it down by 1, 1 1.5 inches, depending on how low you want it. Then I connect it down like this. So, we are done with the back of here. Not, not done yet, but almost there. There is an extension around here. I'm going to, you know, add the joint paper and, you know, attach, extend that later. I'm going to add paper and extend that later. So let's move on to the front. So we are going to be putting this place off as well. Then we had our modesty panel there. So we are done with the back like that. Then we move on to the front. So now for the front, yeah, we have, we are reducing it to, we are reducing it to 8 as well. Okay, we have 10.5. So that means we have currently 2 inches, 2.5 inches excess on the waist, right? 2.5 inches excess on the waist. And then on the under bust, the under bust, I'm using the same value for the waist, 10.5, so 2.5 inches excess on the under bust as well. So what I will be doing is there are four panels on that dress, okay? Four panels. So I'm going to be dividing from here to here into four. So 10.5 divided into four equals to 2.625 so i'll just i'll just say two point i'll just add one line after 2.5 one line after 2.5 so to get our division so this is it so i'm going to take this line now all the way to the chest and downward As for this, I'll stop here and direct it towards the armor. I can still bring it here too. I'll just direct it towards this point. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. So now the next thing I want to do is the contouring of this part, right? So since we have a uh, uh, 2.5 inches excess here, and I have like one, two, three, four spots to divide the excess into, it means that I'm going to be having decimal by the time I divide 2.5 by 4. To avoid that decimal, I am just going to make it three yeah what i'm going we're still going to have this my fact value into four but what i'm going to do is two inches is going on these lines because they are the closest to the princess line okay that's directly under the box so the remaining one inch i'll divide it into half a and half a as well do you get it so um since we have just 2.5 inches excess i'll just make it 2.5 uh, half i'll add half inch here then i'll reconnect it i'm going to reconnect the half inch all right, so we've added half inch excess to this point now. So we have three inches excess. So 
yes 11 now right we're going to eight inches right so what i will do is because this part are the closest lines to the post point i'm going to take one on both side right one on both side i mean half on both sides rather so that's one inch that for these lines and then i'm going to take of half inch that here making total of uh, 2.5 then the remaining half inch i'll divide it into quarter and quarter here okay so that's it so um the under bust value yes i think it's the same it's the same thing so what i have here i'll just take it up as well make sure you check your own under bust if it's not the same you do your calculation and you know what to do okay half 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 all right the value you'll be getting might be different based on your measurement so don't use your, my own measurement to judge yours just follow the guideline i'm giving you that's it so yeah so this will go straight to the boss point like this okay yeah i'll try to connect this one to the boss point by using my curve ruler Yeah, so now the under the over bust does not really need control because of the shape of the corset. Okay, it's not pressing the over bust area. So if it was pressing the over bust area, we we'll have to do the necessary contouring here. So what I will just be doing is if that line here is what I'll be dividing into into uh this point here. Okay, so whatever value I have here, I think I should be having one inch. I will just divide it into half half. That's quarter quarter here and quarter quarter here so that's the total of one inch that's what i'll be using to shape this part it's quite similar to um to a victorian corset so for this part right let me take this line all the way down. You know that when we are drafting the basic bodies, there was one inch excess on the hip, remember? Okay, if you have not watched the basic, basic bodies, please, this is time for you to go and watch it before you come back to this tutorial. There's one inch excess. So that one inch excess, I'm going to be using it to shape this part. So I'll be taking uh, quarter, quarter on both sides. okay so i'll also do the same here spot so i'll just take the same value here and you know we are going to definitely be having extra excess for you know the side so yeah But the point is, I don't even want here to flit out at all. I don't want it to flit out at all, at all. I don't want it to flit out. I'll just take it straight down, okay? Whatever shortage I have, I'll add it at the side, all right? So let's cut out. So this is what the front pattern looks like right now, okay? So let's cut out the back pattern so we can deal with just the front because we need to make it an, uh, a full scale pattern because it's a symmetric design. Now I went ahead to separate the back from the front. Okay, you can see I cut on the corset length. So I'm going to come back to that later. And then this is the front pattern. I needed to make it a full scale. When you have both sides of the front present, that's when you have it as a full scale. And whenever you are doing an asymmetric design, your pattern has to be on full scale. So I attached the paper, extra paper, and folded it on the center front and I went ahead to trace the important lines out. 
make sure that all the lines you intend to trace out uh to trace out are being traced out if not it might be a big problem for you to correct that you might not even get it right because you know those lines are not aligning again so i went ahead to open it up and then i draw out the lines i draw out all the lines on the other side measuring from the center front to the side my hip is meant to be 44 so that's 11 right 11 and uh, we have a let's measure this is center front okay I think I tweaked, I forgot, uh, I forgot to, to shape it out. Remember I did the shaping of the center front as well. Alright, so I did the shaping of the center front. Okay, so, so this is the center front now. So if I measure from there, from here to here, this is about two and one over here. I'll skip the dots. Four. Five quarter and nine and a half out of eleven. So that means so I'll just measure it up until I reach eleven. So this is eleven. So this is where my hip is made to stop. Okay. So I'm just going to add extra two inches to it. Alright. For that side curve. Then I'm going to make a connection from the waist this way. So basically what I did there was right. to skip those dart line that I extended towards the aim and measured the value that is there. So I got uh, 9 inches, I think it's 9 or 9.5 inches. So then I was meant to have cut out of my hip which was 11 inches. So I got 9, then I added the remaining 2 inches shortage making 11. So after the 11 now, I extended it out for the side. Uh, that side slanted part. I extended it out by another two inches. Now, after the extension, I went ahead to fold it again. So I traced it out in order for it to be balanced with the other side. You can see what the extension looked like. Now it's time for me to close the overbust area and shaping the neckline so what i did was i slashed the the lines onto the bust point okay the lines that has that you know shape at the upper part i slashed it to the bust point then it was easy for me to close the overbust area okay you can see how i'm doing it exactly the way you should do this as well so you close the dart legs you know you match them up and then use your paper gum tape to hold them down so i haven't done this i'll be able to ship out my neckline i was just doing a check for my chest line to ensure that there is no shortage okay and that's that so the next thing is for us to ship our neckline one part of the neck extension stop a little above the mid arm and then the upper part stop uh, above the shoulder point and then at the center i drew out the center line uh moving towards the left a bit the curve went through uh the bust line okay so and that's how i got my curve you can see yeah so that's it So once you've closed the shoulder that it will be easy for you to shape out whatever neckline you desire to shape out. So I haven't gotten my neckline. I went ahead to trace to cut it out rather, yeah, to cut it out. And then I cut off the shaded parts. Of the dart line i also label the panels one to two, one to eight and then the sewing allowances for coupling them together half inch all through half inch including the m as well half inch on the neckline as well for each panel make sure you label for each panel 
and then the side i did one inch one inch yeah so we are going to be cutting one piece for one piece of fabric for each pattern because it's asymmetric no two of them are the same so you know yeah that's it then i went i had to trim off i cut off all the that's you know excesses that i shaded out yeah i cut them off to divide the panel and yeah that's the final result we have the after this i went ahead to also panel the back as well in the next next clip so now this is everything on the front pattern i've paneled it and i labeled it one two three four five six five six seven eight so i have eight panels on the front pattern so we'll be putting those panels together by half of an inch okay all through i set the side seam which is one inch i also added half inch to the hem line and then the neckline is half inch as well so this is the back panel okay the back pattern rather as you can see uh i will just cut it here so we have uh one two three three panels so i'm going to cut off all the shaded parts so now i want to do the extension at this side just like we did for the front okay um i extended it out by two inches and i connected it to the waistline the hip area of the back is not uh, having any shortage so i didn't bother you know skipping any that you know there's no shortage there so i just did the two inches extension outward and connected it to the waist point that's all for the back and that's it for the old tutorial so here is a picture of the mock-up i did i i coupled them together and pin it on the mannequin to see what the outcome will look like and it came out really nice yeah if you got up to this point watching this video kindly do well to like the video drop a comment and subscribe before you go thank you so much i will see you in another class bye